You're going to love this. Trust me. What is up, Dragon Ball Junkies? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you a deck list video for my new all Namekian yellow piccolo deck from set 17 ultimate squad of the dragon ball super car game it's a really cool deck guys i'm loving it and this is what i've come up with so far it's working out well for me in testing so let's check out the deck list boys all right guys here we are at dds deck planet this is the best place to build your dragon ball super car game decks you can export them straight to untap so you can test them out after that but I'll have a link to DBS Deck Planet down in the description. You guys can go check it out. But here we go. We've got Piccolo, the new yellow leader from Set 17 Ultimate Squad. His auto is place one Namekian card from your hand under this card. When this card attacks, draw one card. Then look at the five cards from the top of your deck and add a green or yellow Namekian card among them to your hand and shuffle your deck. So that's going to be pretty much all of our deck. We really don't want to not be able to do that. On our unawakened side we want to get the draw power off that so we have a lot of namekians that we can put under there and everything's green yellow so we can grab pretty much all of them off of our leader search and then we awaken at four or less life or if there are two or more cards under this card we draw one we untap one and then we add cards from our life to our hand until we have five life left if we do an early awakening we take life down to five on our awakened side uh, permanent when placing battle cards under other cards to pay the skill cost for Namekian Union Absorb. We can use cards underneath this card. So early in the game, when you're putting cards under him, I mean, it's really not going to matter much because you can pretty much use any Namekians to do your Union Fusions. So just put anything you don't need under him. And then when you awaken and you do your Union Fusion stuff, you can uh, start using cards from under him. And then his auto is place one to making card from your hand under this card when this card attacks draw two cards and then activate battle is once per turn place one card from under this card in its owner's drop area this card gets plus 5,000 for the battle similar to android 16 uh it lets us on both turns we can get a plus offensively and a plus defensively by getting rid of those cards from under our leader but here's the deck list i've come up with guys so First, let's check out all of our one-drop Namekians. I've got a 2-3 split for the yellow Namekians. We have two of the ones that bring out the three-drop. And then we have the Piccolo ready to fuse. And then we have three of the Piccolo fusions, fusions resolve that brings out our four-drop. We're going to be relying more on the one-drops that bring out the four-drops. But the reason we want to have some of them to bring out the three-drops is because the four-drop one has an energy requirement. We can't do that until we have three energy, so we can't start resolving these and busting out our four drops until we have three energy. So early game, we can use these to get out our three drops early. Uh, and also the same thing with the green ones. Now, I considered making this a just like pretty much a mono yellow deck with a little bit of green in it. But the reason I went with a little more green, I'll explain to shortly, but we also have a 3-3 split here. Uh, I could probably reduce these down to maybe like a 2-2 two -two split. Uh, I have to test more to see about that. The reason I have some mono greens is for energy reasons. Um, late in the game, we may want to hard cast something like this, which costs two specified greens. So we're going to want to charge usually a dual color turn one. And at some point in the game, we're going to want to have another mono green just to have two greens in our energy. Or we, could do, we don't want to do another dual color because we don't have anything with energy exhaust. That's one thing this deck needs is we need a Namekian. We need a green yellow Namekian with energy that re removes energy exhaust. Like maybe if you have a Namekian on the field, it removes energy exhaust and it's green yellow. That would be awesome. But so there's our one drops. This one again is the green one that goes into the three drop. And then this is the green one that goes into the four drop. So these four cards, all these one drops pretty much do a lot of the same things they're just different colors and then we will move on to another little package we have we've got four of these nail namekian guardians these are from the championship pack 2022 and basically what this does you play it out for one it's a blocker if you have two yellow energy standing then when your opponent attacks you block with this it gets ko'd and then you pay the two energy, you get to play out this Piccolo Fuse with Nail. We run four of these. Uh, I really built the deck around this strategy. I wanted to get this strategy to pop off because basically when we use this guy, 
the Nail Namekian Guardian to get out the Piccolo Fuse with Nail. We get to put three Namekians in our drop area under this guy. We're going to need to make sure when we do this that we have three Namekians in our drop. Uh, a few times in testing, I had to combo a little bit, one or two cards maybe, just to make sure I could get this off early game. But when this guy comes out, if he has three cards under him, he gains... Uh, and this is an activate main. I, I made a few misplays that you will see in my gameplay video where I thought this was on play. You get this skill, but it's actually activate main. So you will play him out on defense with the nail. And then as long as he stays on the board, he'll have, uh, you'll be able to activate main. He'll get barrier. And then you get to rest one of your opponent's energy, which is a very powerful skill. And they can't untap it during their untap phase until their next turn. So very, very powerful skill. It locks their energy down. Um, these, This is also a four drop that I believe choose one, play up to one green piccolo. No, so, so our fusion cards can't let us get into this. The only way we're getting into this is through the nail. But we will have plenty of opportunities to do that. <clears throat> uh, as, And then as far as... Green four drop piccolos that can come from this guy or this guy. We can play out the most common one we're going to want to be playing out is maybe this assimilated ability. This card is awesome. Uh, it has an activate battle that lets you pop one of your opponent's cards, energy cost of five or less, and then draw a card with bond two. And so you can do this offensively and defensively. Don't forget to use this skill. You can draw tons of cards from this. It's, it's crazy. This card is awesome in the deck. It works great. But also, just for a little flavor, we threw in this Frenzy Warrior Piccolo because he gives a little hand control to the deck. He lets us rip two cards out of our opponent's hand when we play him. And he's got Deflect, so he's not going to get counterplayed as easy as a lot of our other cards. If you're playing a deck and you're worried about counterplays, you can always go into the Frenzy Power because he has the Deflect. Uh, we also have this 4-drop Piccolo Fuse with Kami. This is a critical double strike. Um... And then you can save it. If it's going to get removed, you can remove the cards under it to save it. And when it's played, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier and KOing them. That's pretty strong. Critical double strike, 24k. It's That's a good card that you can play off of your, your nail fusion cards. And also these smaller one drops, you can go into this three drop piccolo fusing with nail, which has critical. And also it has, if it would be KO'd in battle, place one card under it in his drop area to save it. Activate battle, switch it to rest mode, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, energy cost of five or less in rest mode to KO it. If you KO'd KO a card, your opponent discards one card from their hand. Uh, but one cool thing we can do with this, since it is critical and it's a single striker, we have this card, weight on one's shoulders. So that is the optimal, this, this card we want to use with that. It's basically a chompa for that card. Um, activate battle for one yellow. And it's free. So we just pay one yellow. If it's your turn, choose one of your Namekian cards. And for each Namekian card under it, it gets 5,000 power up to a maximum of 15 and double strike for the battle. So if we Union Fusion to this guy, he's going to become a 25k double strike critical that we can play out before turn three. That's a very good early game play with those two cards with that combo right there. Uh, we've got some Sand Instincts. You really draw a lot in this deck with the assimilated ability. I just put them in here because I have a small, I have a couple of rival cards and it's something, you know, with these guys and one of these, we can hit our, our green, yellow arrival cost. Um, and we don't mind comboing this off because, you know, early games, if it's early game, if it's kind of slow, turn two, uh, maybe turn three before we awaken, we use a sand instinct, get a little hand power pretty nice it helps out so that's why the sand instincts is in there and the arrival target is this krillin and android 18 power couple i wish this arrival cost was yellow instead of green this is one of the other reasons we have to have some green cards in here not only to pay the specified cost for frenzy warrior if we're going to hard cast him late game but also because of arriving with this it's one green it's one green energy. And then when we play it, we're just going to rip a card out of our opponent's hand. Or we can choose a keyword skill on one of their battle cards in rest mode and negate it for the duration of the turn. You can choose barrier with that. 
So if they have something pesky that we're trying to remove, but it has barrier, we can arrival this. We can remove the barrier from it because you are, you can't choose a card with barrier, but you can choose the keyword skill of barrier and remove it with this card to help us get pesky cards off the board or just do some hand control power with the frenzy giving us a little hand control power. Then we've got, uh, let me show you a few of the one ofs. We've got one of these. Originally, I had more in here, and it was just clogging up the deck. Um, I mean, it doesn't clog the deck because it is a Namekian that we can throw under our leader to get our draw power. But most situations, I don't see paying three energy to play this guy out. And we don't have our union cards cannot go into him. So the reason there's only one is it's just situational. Um, if your opponent is playing a lot of sand instincts or has a lot of things that make them draw a lot of cards other than their leader... Um, we could play this card to prevent them from drawing without their leader skill. Because when this card is in rest mode, your opponent can't add cards from their deck to their hand using non-leader skills. So it's pretty good. And it's a Mimekian. It's on theme. So we just threw one in here. And there are no counterplays in this deck. One thing I would like to do is make some room for some counterplays. But I re I'm really not really relying heavily on unisons. We do have one little unison package in here. We just have two of these in here two of these SS Gogeta, just because they go along with our, our theme of tapping down energy. So let me give you a little, a little rundown of a play here that you could do. Um, when your opponent activates an extra card, add a marker to this card. So basically, if this has four markers on it, say we play it out turn two, our opponent, and then we plus one to it to three, our opponent activates an extra card, it gets to four, to four. Um, and then turn three, we can do a nail and then we can activate his minus four skill. So the next turn, they can only untap two or yeah, they can only switch two energy to active mode. So they, so their turn four, they can only switch two energy to active mode and we have a nail on the board. We block with the nail, we play out this guy. And then the following turn, even if they didn't spend energy, any energy, they only have two energy two energy left standing we can use this guy now to rest one of those two energy chances are by that point they're going to be tapped out but this little combo right here can really make sure they're tapped out late game and it can hurt them pretty badly but since i don't have any counter plays uh we're relying pretty heavily on floodgate negates so we've got three forbidden powers and three flying nimbuses lots of floodgating between these six cards uh, different options for different situations you know if you if you want to maybe if they're attacking with a big triple striker you're going to want to use nimbus to negate the attack and then they only get one more battle card attack but if they have a bunch of small attacks you're going to have to pitch a card for that if they have a bunch of like small attacks you might want to just forbidden power so you don't have to pitch a card so different situations you'll either want to use forbidden power or nimbus but they both come in handy very much we've got one of the power of a super saiyan just because it's an awesome card it's limited to one because it's awesome so we put one in the deck and that is pretty much everything except for super combos we are running uh for sell the awakened i don't know if this is the best super combo choice for this deck but i do run it because it's new and i like it i liked napa it's you know it's green yellows napa it's awesome and if you watch my gameplay video, which is on the channel, you'll see another reason these come in handy is because they go with our secret rare, which is Cell Zeno. So as you see, we've got a whole lot of four drops, right? So basically what you can do is, you know, you have a assimilated on the board. You have one of these on the board. If you need to, you could hard cast a frenzy warrior like turn four. You could hard cast a frenzy warrior. You're going to rip two cards out of their hand. Then... You can attack with everything or not attack with everything. Then you go into Cell Zeno and you rip three more cards out of their hand. You have a dual attack, quadruple strike. But with, with board removal and stuff like that, it's going to be very easy for you to have two of these on the board. You know, one, two. You don't have to hard cast that four drop. If you have this and this on board and you have two super combos in your hand, you super combo, super combo. 
they come out on the field now you have 12 energy on board and then you can go into Celzino, Celzino, a speakable abomination so that's another reason that i have this super combo in here and it just gives us more board presence it's like running eight super combos in your deck so it's a very good super combo i like it a lot and last but not least we have this card i almost forgot uh, we run this at three basically what we're running this for it's a namekian we could put it under under our leader um, but when this card is played or attacks, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO it. That's not the, the real important skill is this auto. If it's your opponent's turn, when this card is used in a combo from your hand, choose it for one Namekian card in your battle area and switch it to active mode. So we can combo with this card defensively on our opponent's turn. And we can restand something that maybe we attacked with that we don't want them to be able to kill. Like maybe we could restand... You know, maybe we attacked with our assimilate ability, but we don't want it to die. So we can combo with this on our opponent's turn to restand it so it can't be attacked again. Or if we have a blocker, I think we have one blocker in here. I think actually, uh, no, all we have is the nail and it's probably going to die if it blocks anything. But yeah, pretty much what that's for is just to combo to... To be able to restand something and keep it from being damaged. So like if we swing with this double strike. Uh, but we don't want this card to die. When our opponent attacks again. We can combo with this to restand it. So they can't keep attacking it. And that's pretty much all that's in there for. But that is the deck guys. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this deck. I've got a lot of wins with it already. Let me know what you think of it. And send me links in the comment section to your deck list. But that's it. All right, boys, let me know what you thought of the deck. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop down in the comment section everything you think of the deck, how you built it differently, uh, what you think of my game plan and my combo ideas. Just drop it all in the comment section, guys. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell so you know when I make the new videos. You guys can catch all these live gameplays over at Twitch TV slash Dragon Ball Junkie. But I got to get out of here. So watch the video. Watch the playlist. I'll catch you later, boys. Peace.